Toxic family relationships. You're supposed to love your family, and maybe you do desperately. But at the same time, it's also okay to recognize that sometimes your family may not be all that healthy for you. It's okay to have this realization and to acknowledge it without feeling this gnawing sense of guilt that you're a bad person for feeling this way. Parents, siblings, aunts, uncles, cousins, they're all human, blood relations or not. And being human means that you don't necessarily become wiser just because you're older. Parents always try their best for their kids, and sometimes their best is limited by their own insecurities, ego, guilt, and maybe their own inability to be happy with their own life. When we're kids, we think the world of our family, of our parents. If they scream and yell and punish and ignore us, we think that it's normal. We really believe that it's because we are so bad that they are so angry and unhappy. But that is not true. No kid can ever make an adult, especially a parent, behave in ways that they don't want to. If your parent doesn't give you the love and attention that you need, it's not because you are unlovable or that there's something wrong with you. It's because they don't have the capacity to give something they don't have or don't know. As adults, it's easier to see and to be aware of the negative ways our family has impacted us, and this awareness can lead us to behave in one of two ways, to blame them, to feel scarred, and to be resentful, or to understand, to forgive, and to let go of any anger or guilt. We can always choose to associate less with family members whom we think are toxic without carrying that anger, that resentment, and the guilt with us, because we can feel blessed that we're able to choose to live our life in the way that we think is healthy. Our family isn't by choice, but the way we live our life is. No matter how angry, how unwise, and how toxic your family is, know that you don't have to be that way, and choose to instead be happy always.